All right, welcome back to Brain Flow TV slash Hot Topics TV. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on this channel. Here's what the Jacksonville Sheriff said about Young and Ace after they made their arrest in the Julio Fulio case. Police says that the suspects in Julio Fulio's murder are affiliates of Aces. Wow. Hold up. Police says that the suspects involved are affiliates of Young and Ace. I said this yesterday on the other video. Young and Ace dropped a video less than 24 hours after Julio Fulio was killed. And basically, the video was like saying, I told them to do it. They called me. They told me they had to drop on them. I told them, go, do it. Right now, we don't know if we're separating reality from fantasy entertainment or is these young people just snitching on themselves. Police says that the suspects that were arrested in Julio Fulio's murder are affiliates of Young and Ace. Jacksonville Sheriff TK Waters was asked about Young and Ace's involvement at Monday's press conference. Do you think that the rapper Young and Ace was involved in the murder of Julio Fulio. The Tampa Police Department, joined by Jacksonville Sheriff TK Waters, announced three arrests and two additional outstanding suspects in the death of Jacksonville rapper Charles Jones, known by his stage name Julio Fulio. Just last night, after we put up the video about the three that were arrested, we also saw a new video of them surrounding the apartment of a fourth suspect one of the two persons who was said to be on the run. It's supposed to be five of them, according to law enforcement. Now, at the press conference on Monday, Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkhall said that the suspects in the case belong to the Jacksonville-based gang ATK, as well as another gang that's called 1200. The Department of Justice said in a release in 2022 that ATK stands for Aces Top Killers. So Ace is the head honcho of ATK. The release says this is referring to Jacksonville's rapper Young and Ace. Young and Ace apparently has his own team of killers. ATK. Aces Top Killers. I didn't make this up. This is information coming from the Department of Justice in the state of Florida. And this is what they deciphered the ATK to mean. They out there in the streets with the, you know, the gang police. They're doing their work. And this is what they came up with. The release says this is referring to Jacksonville's rapper Young and Ace, whose real name is Kayanta Bullard. Now, Young and Ace... And Julio Fulio, they've been opposing figureheads at the helm of carnage that has left many dead, including friends and relatives of each other. And now Julio Fulio himself. They're looking out to see retaliation because Young and Ace might be next. That's the way it's supposed to go. It's war in these streets between two rival gangs. Now, at the press conference, officials were asked about Young and Ace's potential involvement in Julio Fulio's murder. And Young and Ace has long been known in Jacksonville, Waters said. Now, got to remember, Waters is a law enforcement official that is telling the public at a press conference that Young and Ace has long been known in Jacksonville. He over, he with the shits. He really, really with the shits. We are consistently monitoring those groups. We have people that are always watching them. I don't know if they just saying that or if they just, or if they doing it for real. But Young and Ace should know that that is what <laughs> the detective said. We are constantly monitoring them. We have people that are always watching them. 
I guess that's why they find they found who did Julio Fulio in because they always watching Young and Ace and they always watching Julio Fulio and they've known since 2001 about this beef. He said that there is no investigation into Young and Ace at this particular time. I guess nobody has called his name yet. But we can't move, he can't move around in Jacksonville without us knowing about it. Wow. He cannot move around in Jacksonville without us knowing about it. And that's for the betterment of our community. Jesus. Yo, he is a menace to fucking, he's a menace to society. If you cannot move around in your city without the law enforcement knowing about it, man, they got a bullseye on you, boy. I don't think you plan on living too much longer either. So Bullard uh, was sentenced, well, he was arrested in Jacksonville Beach. This is Young and Ace. He was arrested in Jacksonville Beach um, on gun possession charges, and he bailed out. And then he returned to his home in Texas because he got a home in Texas and he done left Florida. The charges have now been dropped. That was his last run-in with the law in Florida. Now, Julio Fulio was, they told him, his management told him, you need to move out to LA or move to somewhere else. They wanted to move him away. But Julio Fulio said his mama's still out here, his family's still out here. And he not leaving his hood and his people. So this is where it's going to be at. And they killed him right where he said he wouldn't leave. The three suspects that have been arrested so far in Julio Fulio's death. And their names are Alicia Andrews. Which is a female who is said to be the main link in all of this. I'm watching her being arrested. She don't look like she cared too much. But you know, when you young and you dumb... And you don't really pay attention to what's going on. You think you can handle what's coming. Just like them scrawny ass 19 year old dudes. One of them is a well known videographer. He shoots videos for people who do music. And he also shoots guns. According to law enforcement. He is one of the shooters. He was arrested in the red hoodie. His scrawny ass ain't going to do too well in prison. When they hit you with that long ass sentence, that light skin and curly hair shit, you don't have your weight up and you don't have nobody in there to back you up and your gang ain't big enough. Man, it's going to be problems in there for your survival. They'll, the reality, when the reality sets in, I bet their whole mood changes. So Alicia Andrews is the one that's said to have backdoored Julio Fulio. It is said that she was actually in his company with him when he was passing out the shots. And everybody take a shot because it's my birthday type of shit. He, she was right there. And then what she ended up doing was slide to the side and sent, drop the location for her homies, Isaiah Chance and Sean Gathright. To link up and start following Julio Fulio around the city and eventually kill him. Police have warrants out for the arrest of the other two. Rashad Murphy and Devion Murphy. Apparently these are must be brothers or cousins. I don't know. They throwing their lives away like life ain't worth nothing. Let's go. Brothers and cousins, let's go to prison all together. Well, one of them was brought in last night. So it should be one more that's left out there. Officials said that three of the five suspects were armed when Julio Fulio was shot and killed. But as Hillborough County State Attorney Susie Lopez said on Monday, all five of them will be facing life in prison, even the ones who did not pull the trigger. I'm not telling you this so you think I'm making this up. This is the official report from law enforcement officials. This is Hillsborough County State Attorney Susie Lopez. Let me tell you something, right? Y'all better start learning about the state of Florida. It's the wrong place to come play these types of games. Florida give out life sentences like they're giving out water and food to the homeless. Florida give out life sentences and death penalties like it's nothing. Candy to babies. So Hillsborough County, you do your research. Get, I invite you to go on Google and Google Hillsborough County State, Florida, Hillsborough County in Florida, and you will see 
is not one of them places that's lenient on anything. You don't want to come here and get caught up here. Hillsborough County State Attorney Susie Lopez said on Monday, it's official, all five of them will be facing life in prison, even the ones who did not pull the trigger. And they already know the three who did pull the trigger. So, like I said, when that life sentence hits them, I see the girl's face, she's smirking, laughing, all that like it's funny. It's all good for now until you realize that, man, they got you in here and you're not coming out. That's when that reality is going to start to set in. When you first get arrested, something in your mind says somebody is going to post bail for you. They're going to let you out on bail charges. But when the days start to turn into weeks and the weeks start to turn into months, and then you go to that trial and you realize you're not going home because today the judge just handed down your sentence and your sentence is your natural rest of your life in prison. I don't know if y'all watched the Extentation or XX Extentation uh, murder trial when the judge said, You will go to sleep in a cell, you will wake up in a cell, and you will do that for days and weeks and months and years. And you will do that for every day of the rest of your natural life. And you will do that until one day when the guards come to check your cell and they look in there for head count and they call your name and you don't answer and they check on you and you are no longer breathing. You will be carried out of that prison dead to your burial. That's the only way you will be leaving this prison. That shit hit me so hard. I was like, God damn. For him to break it down like that, that means there's no guessing. Your ass ain't coming out of prison. You are about to stay there until, no matter if you live to your 110, and most of them that got arrested are in their early 20s, late teens. Whole life, gone. Now, this shows the lengths that these individuals are willing to go to through to achieve evil, man, to achieve this murder, they really wanted Julio Fulio. They were on his top out in these streets. I mean, how was Julio Fulio moving around the way that he was not knowing? I mean, knowing that he had enemies like these in these streets, or maybe he was one of the people who thought they tough, but I'm tougher. They bad, but I'm bought badder. I've been shot many times. I can't die from getting shot. Well, it ain't so. It ain't so. All five of them have been charged in this murder. Tampa Police Chief Lee Burkar said the five suspects were traveling in two separate vehicles to Tampa to murder Fulio as a retaliation for an ongoing gang feud. And they tracked him from location to location the night of his murder. This shows the lengths that these individuals were willing to go through to achieve this murder. The police chief said that the arrested individuals includes members of the gang ATK and the gang 1200. And both of which have been involved in a decade long feud with Julio Fulio's gang called Six Block. Result, resulting in dozens of murders over the years by them and against both sides. So both sides been killing shit. I don't know if Julio Fulio has ever been a trigger man. I don't know if Young and Ace ever been a trigger man. But law enforcement says they've been going at it for a decade long. But they've been locked in on them. For quite some time now, a couple of years. ATK is affiliated with Jacksonville rapper Young and Ace, who was mentioned at the press conference through Jacksonville Sheriff TK Waters, says he is not being investigated at this time. But he can't move around without them not knowing about it. They got people on him, they got people that see and knows everything he does. 
when he's in Jacksonville. That's why he ain't trying to stay in Jacksonville. But they're tracking him to Texas, too. Now, officials also said that three of the five suspects were armed, and they know who did the shooting, who pulled the trigger, but everybody will be charged as if they all pulled the trigger. First-degree murder, meaning that a crime was premeditated and it was a conspiracy to commit this crime. So they sat, they thought about how to murder him, they came up with a way to get it done, and they are actually... And then they carried it out. Andrews, who's 21 years old, which is the only female in all of this, she actually lives in Jacksonville. She faces two charges in Julio Fulio's death. She faces first-degree murder, meaning that the crime was premeditated, and she is facing a conspiracy to commit first-degree murder because she was a part of the planning process and she was the one who actually put everybody together so they could get Julio Fulio where they got him. The Tampa Police Department says that Andrews assisted Isaiah Chance Jr. in tracking and following Julio Fulio and his entourage to two separate locations the night of the shooting. At the last location is where they got him and took his life. Officials did not list Andrews as one of the suspects who fired the gun at Julio Fulio, but she is still facing murder charges. According to arrest reports from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, officers arrived in marked and unmarked police vehicles at a residence on Captivo Bluff Road North on Saturday, June 27th, in search of Isaiah Chance Jr. Upon their arrival, the police notified the occupants of the house that the place was surrounded and a search warrant was in hand and the officers were not leaving until they get who they came for. The report says that the officers were issuing instructions for about 15 to 20 minutes and they were sitting in the house, not doing nothing, not opening the windows, the doors, not coming out, not moving, but they knew that they were in there because they tracked them to that location, watched them go in, and then once they were in, they surrounded the house. That, <laughs> yo, I'm saying, my man, when you young and dumb and think you got it all figured out, huh? They were there for 15 or 20 minutes standing on that front lawn, issuing orders through the big speakers before Chance and Andrews exited the house. Andrews was arrested upon exiting the residence, and she faces a resisting an officer without violence charge as well as first-degree murder, as well as conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. Andrews remains detained in the Duval County Jail, and Isaiah Chance Jr., he is 21 years old, he is a documented ATK member on police records. He is a one of Ace's top killers. He is a known associate of Ace. So, with Ace making a song saying he they got the drop on him and I told him do it. Listen, that conspiracy charge might stretch into a Rico. You never know. Just keep watching this. He's now facing first-degree premeditated murder charge and a conspiracy to commit first-degree premeditated murder charge as well. Chance was arrested with Andrews after a search warrant at the house on Captiva Bluff Road North. He also faces a resisting an officer without violence charge as well. I guess because they stayed in the house for 15-20 minutes without coming out, so they hit them with that as well. Detectives said that Chance was not one of the shooters the night that Fulio was murdered, but he was in one of the suspect's vehicles assisting Andrews in tracking Fulio's movements throughout the night. Detectives determined that Chance used a cell phone at two stops while tracking Fulio, getting out of the vehicle both times to do so. Now, after using his cell phone, officials said the second suspect vehicle would arrive at the location. He was telling them, yo, we on him, we right here. Come pull up. 
Chance was arrested with Andrews at the residence on Captiva Bluff Road, and Chance remains in custody in the Duval County Jail. Now, Sean Gatwright, this is the one I'm saying, boy, you ain't built for no prison, boy, but we about to find out. Sean Gatwright, he's 18 years old. This is the one who is known as a videographer as well. He lives on the north side of Jacksonville. Officials did not say whether he was affiliated with the ATK gang or not, but he faces first-degree premeditated murder charge and three attempted murder charges on top of his first-degree murder charge. He also faces a charge of tampering with evidence. According to officials, Gatwright was one of the three shooters that killed Julio Fulio. Gatwright was arrested at a Jacksonville shopping center. Rashad Murphy, one of the guys who was still wanted. Officials identified Rashad Murphy, who was 30 years old, as a 1,200 member. And one of the three shooters the night that Julio Fulio was murdered. Rashad Murphy faces one count of first degree murder as well as three counts of attempted first degree murder. And that is because when they let off them shots, it wasn't only Julio Fulio that got shot. Three other people got shot as well, but they survived. The police have a warrant out for Rashad Murphy's arrest. And they're asking anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers of Tampa Bay at 1-800-873-TIPS. I think Rashad Murphy might be the person who they surrounded the house and got last night. We'll find out later on today. And the last one, number five, is Davion Murphy. He shares the same name as Rashad Murphy. I don't know if they're brothers or cousins or what the case may be. But officials identified Davion Murphy. He is 27 years old. He is also a member of the 1200 gang. 1200 gang is down with the ATK gang. It took two gangs to unite and five people to work together to get Julio Fulio, to track him, find his location, and kill him. So the last person is Davion Murphy, 27 years old. And as of the, he's a member of the 1200 gang as well, documented, and one of the three shooters the night of the Julio Fulio murder. Like Gothright and Rashad Murphy, Davion Murphy also faces one count of first degree premeditated murder, as well as three counts of attempted first degree murder. The police have a warrant out for Davion Murphy's arrest as well. And they are also asking you to call Crime Stoppers at Tampa Bay at 1-800-873-TIPS as well. Listen, they all threw their lives away. They must have really wanted to get Julio Fulio that bad. But, like I said before, in gang wars, man, once blood is spilt on either side, it's a wrap. Nobody is calling that off. Young and Ace lost his, his blood brother, his, his blood. His, he grew up with his brother brother. So, of course, revenge is strong on his mind. My only wonder now is, is Young and Ace going to be implicated in this? And could the DA somehow tie him into the shot caller in all of this? If ATK means Ace top killers... And one of ATK members, which is a, a top killer of aces, is involved in the Julio Fulio murder. And they tie it in with that song he did less than 24 hours after with video and everything. They called me and told me they had to drop and I told them, do it. We might see Young and Ace in the same situation with those same charges as well. That's what we got for you for now. Hold tight, because we're still following this to see where this goes. Leave your comments in the comment section below, and I'll catch you on the next video. It's BrainFlow TV slash Hot Topics TV, and you already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.